Sounds like a rough day in the land of Rancho Max. We got a high of today of 67 and tonight 49. But we got severe thunderstorms, downpours, damaging winds, and even isolated tornadoes. They're talking winds of uh, 18 to 28 in higher gusts. That's a lot of breeze. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing up there? There's Boo Boo, you see Boo Boo? Fat man dude. And that's Indian. Not Indian. See him? I know you see him. He's watching that squirrel. Can you see him right over there? Just on the other side of that feeder. The bird feeder's of course hanging. You see him standing up there, dancing around. He drives her crazy. We got three of them. Look at him looking at her. You gonna go get it? Uh, I'm going to wait for him to get closer. This is Chris's bird seed. She feeds the birds as much as she does her cats and dogs. I got all the stuff ready. Like I said, I got to take it back in a little while. Scissors, hunting knife. There she goes. So now the rain has started. Mm. <laughs> that squirrel, he's smarter than she is. I'm headed to the tunnel. Man, it's windy too. I'll show you when we get up there. South, southwest, look at that flag flying right there. That baby's whipping. First stop in my journey. Grandview Island. One road in, one road out. Chesapeake Bay, the northern end. Look at that. I hope you can see that. Back River Lighthouse Ruins. One more drop off and then I'll be done. <clears throat> I thought. I just got a call from a fellow who's uh, only 10 minutes away from my uh, second drop off. I'm heading there now to haul Mazda dealer. He's got three kitchen knives he says he wants to get sharpened. Not, he has them with him, so I'm going to pick them up. Probably take them to him tomorrow. It, but haul Mazda is probably only uh, 50, 20 minutes from where I live. Stand by, we'll see what they look like in a few minutes. Well, I'm sitting here waiting for my lady, the last customer I have to pick up her knives, and I, I'm looking at the ones I just picked up. They're uh, Heckle Internationals from Spain. There's three. There's a chef's knife. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's like little microchips along the blade. Looks like it's been sharpened by one of them pull through things. You see, that? see it right there? You can see that, I know. They're all like that. That's the big one. Here's the little one. You can see that one's got a, a place taken right out of it right there. See it? Well, 
then last but not least is a Santuco. Same way. No chips taken out, but lots of little chips along the blade. Yeah, I can see them now. It won't be hard to fix up. They need a little clean. It looks like the dishwasher's been getting to them. You see a little dust and rust here and there, lust. And that'll clean up pretty quick. Okay, the rain has stopped and the wind has never really got any worse than it was. Stand by. Well, it's Thursday morning. I don't know if you can see them trees shaking, but it's rough as bricks here today. We had severe storms yesterday. Four people got killed. Tornadoes. Not right here where we are, but to the west of us. 40 or 50 miles. It was rough rough going. Tore up a lot of stuff. All we got was wind and rain. On a side note, the old saying my daddy told me when I was little, if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. Well, I made a mistake of leaving my tennis shoes out in the open where a certain little dog could get to them. <laughs> now this is my best pair of tennis shoes. I had these tennis shoes for six or seven years, maybe ten years. And look. This pair, is, this one's not too bad. <laughs> But that one right there is in bad, damn, gone forever shape. God, you little turkey, you. God. Big O' Jack says, I'm a nice dog. Yeah, I don't chew up things. I just take it easy, he said. I guess what happened was, we have these gates that keep this part of the house separated from the rest of the house and i left this gate i must have left this gate open last night because my shoes were in the other room by the tv where i kicked them off at <laughs> well this is a continuation of a video that i did earlier this morning on saturday sharpening a Benchmade 940 in my Wicked Edge. I knew I had a fellow bring me some kitchen knives, but I didn't know when. He, he just came in with them. I'm going to add it to the back of this video. He's got like a five set of uh, Henkels and a, some little tape baby Santuco knife. I can't make out the, the, what kind it is. He said he sent them to a fella somewhere on the West Coast two years ago by mail to have them sharpened. And they're in relatively really good shape. Considering they're two or three years, I think he said two years old. He wants them back to Mars sometime. So I'll work on them probably later today or in the morning. Uh, what do you want, carnivore? Are you hungry, carnivore? It's your lunch time? There's your buddy out there. Look. Indian. Man, that's a wild Indian right there, boy. <laughs> Look. He's your buddy, the little kitty cat. I like that. Get that kitty cat. Come on in. <laughs> you don't mess with... Uh oh, there's Boo-Boo, too. Look at that old Boo-Boo. Now he'll run right up to Boo Boo and peck him on the nose. Boo Boo swats at him. She don't seem to bother him at all. He runs up to her and bumps her all around. 
is laying on her bed. She pulls her bed out of the cage, pulls it on the middle of the floor <laughs> every night. Okay, I'll see you guys later. I got something cool tomorrow. I think I'll 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 let you know what that is tomorrow. I hope you like it, if it happens.